What is up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be playing Calyrex Shadow Rider, the best Pokemon in the game. This was a team made by the Darth Bear. Thank you very much for making this team, because I wasn't going to make myself a Calyrex Shadow team, because I don't like playing the meta. Uh, but you kind of have to. I recommend everyone watching this who plays this, this meta play Calyrex Shadow, either this team or another team, just so you understand how it works and how to beat it. My hope for today is that I lose a lot of matches and so that I learn how to beat Calyrex Shadow. Now, to get started, Calyrex is a crazy Pokemon, as one ability is both Unnerve and Grimnay, which gives you a special attack boost every time you take a KO. And Calyrex has 165 base special attack and 150 base speed and actually really, really good bulk. And a crazy move Astral Barrage, which is just 120 spread ghost move with no downside and perfect accuracy. Uh, it also gets Expanding Force, so you can just pair it with Ndidi and go crazy with an even stronger spread move from your other stab. Uh, and then it is does have a couple 4 times weaknesses, but those are patched up pretty well with Terra Fairy. And Terra Blast can help get rid of a lot of the dark types that threaten you. This Pokemon is just crazy. Uh, we also have Ndidi over here. It has Terrain Extender for a little bit more of the Psychic Terrain. It's mostly this share there to follow me, keep Calyrex safe, helping hand if you need more damage. And it also has Skill Swap. So you can skill swap something, not your own Calyrex, as one is immune to skill swap. Because as one's in a cra just a crazy ability, it's also immune to net neutralizing gas. Uh, but you can skill swap something to set your terrain back up if they try to take it away from you. Uh, we got Tornadus for speed control with Tailwind. We got Iron Bundle for speed control with Icy Wind. Uh, and then we got some good partners for Calyrex. Calyrex's Astral Barrage does not hit normal types and does not hit dark types for very much damage. So, you bring a fighting type, and those normal and dark types suddenly don't seem to be as big of a problem anymore. The, dark, the uh, fighting type to beat the darks on this team is Okie Dogie, which is a great choice because Guard Dog will actually boost your attack if they bring Incineroar as their dark type, one of the most common ones in the game. Uh, and it's just an Assault Vest set, four coverage moves. I like this set a lot, it's Terra Dark. Uh, you could also have like knockoff in one of these slots, I think is pretty good, especially against opposing Calyrex Shadows. Uh, but speaking of opposing Calyrex Shadows, we have one of the best answers to it on our team, in Chiyu. Uh, Chiyu, this is just a spec set with pretty standard moves, Terra Ghost. But Beads of Ruin, pairing up with Calyrex Shadow on Psychic Terrain, clicking Expanding Force, is insanely strong. It, it, it does so much damage, like, it's so overwhelming. You're either ready for this Pokemon, or you're going to lose a lot. Uh, at least once the actual regulation starts. On Casual Ladder, I haven't seen Calyrex very much. At least not in this form, it's been mostly the Ice Rider. Uh, one last thing to mention, this Calyrex has Clear Amulet. That is a good answer to Snarl Spam and Eerie Impulse, if the opponent has that. Clicking Snarl, like this Chiyu has, is a great answer to Calyrex usually, but if you Terra Fairy and you have Clear Amulet, your stats don't get dropped, you resist Snarl, your opponent just wasted a turn basically, so it's great, especially in closed team sheets. Anyway, if you like this team, uh, there's the rental code for you, but I'm about to get onto these battles. Alright, here we go against a Regulation F team, that's okay. Their biggest threat to Calyrex is, well, they have Fluttermane. They have... Amoongus might be a little annoying, actually. There's not much uh, anti-sleep on this team. Um, the taunt. Uh, the Grimmsnarl, though, is the main threat. It can resist everything Calyrex wants to do, really. Though I guess we can Terra Blast it. I don't hate just Terra Blasting it. If we can Expanding Force to get rid of Amoongus, I guess Urshifu could be dark. It, I feel like it's water on this team, so I'm not really worried about dark Urshifu. It could be, though. Like, you never know. Calyrex plus... Chiyu wouldn't be bad. Uh, I'd pretty much be forced to Terra Calyrex into pretty much anything. Uh, but Ndidi ain't bad, because I want to click Expanding Force. 
Now, who do I need to swap in for? Uh, if they do have darker Shifu, Okie Dogie can actually handle it. So I want that. And then, I guess I'll have trouble breaking Heatran if I bring Chiyu. Unless we have Snarl. Seven seconds. We have Snarl on Chiyu. I'll bring Chiyu. Get a little bit of a damage boost. Uh, I think it'll be good. Uh, it can take a hit from Fluttermane, so can Okie Dogie. Uh, so can Calyrex, as long as it's not a Shadow Ball to the face before Terra. So we do have some bulk, so we should be okay. And, oh, Shiny Lilligant. I love Lilligant so much. I was so excited that it got a new form, and that its new form is actually good. Okay. Water Shifu and Fornando. Okie dokie. That's an expanding force turn. Thank you very much. My ability goes first because, well, you don't have any triggering abilities, but Calyrex's ability just goes first. It has priority. It does not tell you anything about its speed tier. Uh, yeah, I click expanding force. You can bring in your dark type if you want. I need to follow me away any surging strikes. Because you could, like, be choice scarf Terra Water and, like, rain dance surging strikes. But yeah, Expanding Force is so strong. And then I, I need to follow me. Oh, I think I'm Terra Fairy. Yeah, that won't help. Follow me. They are going for Terra. Presumably it's water on the Urshifu. That's fine. I think Expanding Force still does a ton of damage. Yeah, you're Terra Water. And then if you're Scarf, you Rain Dance here. If you are Mystic Water, you probably Tailwind. But either way, you're just going to hit this and like I guess you could bleak wind storm as well. Tailwind actually. Okay, maybe they're not scarf. That's cool. Surgeon strikes is all whoa. Are we gonna eat this? Yeah. That's not Mystic Water. Huh. Interesting tailwind play. I thought that should have been a rain dance probably. You really want to knock out Indeedee there. Oh, they were just Sash. Okay. No, I still think Rain Dance was a better play. But it explains why they didn't do as much damage. Oh, Eject Button Torn. That's nice. Now you might be able to actually knock out Indeedee with something faster. And then Surging Strikes into my poor, poor Calyrex. Fluttermane certainly is faster, but... I don't know. You can't Shadow Ball. I guess uh, Gleam plus Surging Strikes... Can Calyrex take a Surging Strikes? Because Indeedee did. And Indeedee is 177, 128. We've got a little bit more HP and about the same defense. We can take a Surging Strikes. Yo. Uh, this time I'm going to throw Astral Barrage. Um, I guess I should burn Terra. Just in case they KO Indeedee with Aqua Jet. If that's even possible. I don't even know if they can, but if they can get the damage roll they need and KO and DD with Aqua Jet. They can't Aqua Jet, I have terrain. Never mind. Astral Barrage, follow me. Should be fine. Scariest thing would be Dazzling Gleam doing big damage to both of us, and then Surging Strikes is enough on Calyrex. Oh, they go for the Aqua Jet, okay. Yeah, they, they, they actually made the mistake I almost made. Oh my goodness, that did so much damage. Okay, you're Specs. Okay. Yeah, that combo would not have worked out with how much damage Calyrex took from that gleam. Well, thank you for making an error. Uh, we win now. But okay, yeah, I think Dazzling Gleam plus Surging Strikes into Calyrex, assuming their Fluttermane should have been faster than their Urshifu. And now we get two special attack boosts. Oh boy. Uh, and then we would have had these two in the back. Oh, it would have been a rough match. We know they have Tornadus. So I want to go... I don't have Protect on either. I'll go with Chiyu now. And they have Heatran. That's cool. I like that. Now... You would think the play is Protect Calyrex, stall out some of this Tailwind, and it could be. But they have two turns of Tailwind. 
my biggest fear is they double into Chi Yu while Calyrex protects. Because Bleak Wind Storm plus Earth Power should be able to take Chi Yu. But if they double into Calyrex, that's fine, because we get a huge snarl off and basically win the game from there. So if they avoid Calyrex, they get blown up by Astral Barrage. If they target Calyrex, uh, I don't want to tear a Ghost just in case they're going for Heat Wave. I want to be able to still resist that. And just click a Snarl. Okay, they Bleak Wind. Calyrex hangs on, thank goodness. Oh, and we're just faster than their Heat Train anyway. Get a faster Heat Train if you're going to Tailwind. Uh, it takes that pretty well. With plus two Shiyu on the field, that's an Assault Vest Heat Train. <laughs> Another special attack boost for Calyrex. And it's just Heat Wave, okay. Good thing I didn't tear a Chiyu. Snarl should pick up from here, single target. Good job, Calyrex. You did it. All we gotta do is clean up. And the cleanup is done. Okay, that was cool. That is what Calyrex can do if you don't have an answer to it right away. It's just that powerful. Good game. Okay, oh, now, okay, we, now we've got a Regulation G match. Rayquaza. Uh, standard Chen Pao Rayquaza, I think that will be a common combo. Uh, Rillaboom Instant, they got double Fake Outers, nothing water on their Firewater Grass Core, so I'm gonna look out for a Terra Water on something, but they probably want to burn it on Rayquaza. Terra Normal, Avoid Astral Barrage makes sense. Uh, they've got two, three Dark Types. Three. I like Okie Doggy a lot. I like Okie Doggy a lot, and I like something... Well, I guess if I just bring in Didi, they cannot Extreme Speed. But they'll have Ice Spinner on the Chen Pao, so I want to bring Okie Doggy and something, and then Ndidi in the back. What could pair well with Okie Doggy? Okie Doggy doesn't want to get faked out. Tornadus doesn't care about fake out, and can give me speed control versus their Tailwind. Then I bring in Didi so they can't use priority, and then I bring Calyrex to sweep up. I like it. Uh, and Terra Blast on Calyrex could be really good here too, so I kind of want to save Terra. Because Terra Blast hits one, two, three of those for super effective. Including two of their three Dark types. Yeah, this should be good. Okie Doggy, your job will to be... Your job, Okie Doggy, is to hit the Dark types to either be low health so that Astral Barrage can pick them up, or scare them into tearing away from their Dark typing. And then if you can do that job, Calyrex should be able to clean up. Gardevoir and Curlia, cool card. That's a good family. Everybody loves those Pokemon. Uh, Golden Go and Moon. I love this combo. I played Golden Go plus Roaring Moon a while back. They just cover each other so well. It's great. So they got a speed boost. They're gonna Tailwind, I'm gonna Tailwind. The question is who I want to hit. I think I want to throw a high horsepower at the Golden Go. And just match their Tailwind. Yeah, okay, they didn't Terra, that's great. High horsepower will do a good chunk. Won't KO, most likely. Uh, they just go straight for Maker Rain, whoa! Well, I did not expect that. That's cool, though. And high horsepower. Good damage. Okay. Uh, well, that did almost... That did slightly over half to Okie Dogie. So Okie Dogie can take the next one, but not that and whatever Moon wants to do. So that's kind of a bad position. I think I will try to preserve Okie Dogie a little bit. Bring in Indeedy there. What's our Terra on Tornadus Steel? I think it's time to give up Tornadus. Will an Icy Wind help? Yeah, because I'll be faster than Moon with Calyrex if I can get an Icy Wind off, though I don't expect it to happen. Uh, they're swapping out into... Okay, into their Chen Pao. That's cool. I like that. If I can get an Icy Wind down on both of those, I will be very happy. But I expect now that Moon is probably going for, like, Breaking Swipe because of that swap. 
in which case Tornadus probably goes down. It is breaking swipe. Tornadus does go down. Okay. That's fine. Y'all just got single target moves though, so I could go Okie Doge and hit something. I could go Calyrex and hit something. Calyrex is faster than Chen Pao, but we're not gonna be able to get rid. They'll get rid of terrain with like an ice spinner. This is a tough position. Uh, Chen Pao, Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon is a lot less threatening, honestly. Especially once we go Terra Fairy. So I think the right play is... It's gotta be Follow Me, right? To take a hit from Moon. And then we'll Terra Fairy, Terra Blast. The Chen Pao. Is that right? That seems fine. That seems fine to me. Oh, Moon Swaps. Okay. Interesting. Into, is this your Rayquaza? No, it's Rillaboom. Okay, getting rid of my terrain that way. Fine. I just assumed you were gonna Ice Spinner. Anyway, I didn't think I was gonna keep terrain. I'm now vulnerable to fake out, unfortunately, because I'm Terra Fairy and the terrain's gone, but this is fine. I like this position. Still anyone's game, though. Okay, so where's the Rayquaza? Did you not bring Rayquaza? Interesting. Yep, we outspeed Chen Pao, which is so cool. Bop! Focus Ash. Yeah, I know you were Focus Ash, but you can't hit me yet. Oh, uh, you have Throat Chop, ooh. Okay. That is fine. Now I bring in my Okie Doge. And I don't have Upper Hand, but they ought to be scared that I do have Upper Hand. What's the scariest thing they could do? If they fake out and double into Calyrex, I need to protect it. And I can get a free KO. Last turn of Tailwind for both. I'm worried that they fake out and KO Dogi. I want to throw a Poison Jab and just protect. Oh, I'm really scared to make this play. If they double into Okie Dogi, they might win here. I could not protect and rely on them thinking I have upper hand. Oh, they just protect their Chen Pao, that's great. I love that. Oh, and they just high horse power Okie Doge. Ah, all right. Good play. All right, um, I don't know if this is winnable now. Because they have Let's see, if I Astral Barrage, I'll pick up one and get Wood Hammered. Probably die to the Wood Hammer. And then I need to Terra Blast single target their Roaring Moon for it to go down. In which case, they'll have another chance to hit me with the partner. I don't think I can win this now. They got me. But I'm not going to stop playing because Astral Barrage could like crit Rillaboom here or something. Ooh, that does nothing. Must be an Assault Vest Rillaboom. Good play on that high horsepower. Really good play. If you had gone for Fake Out into Calyrex, I would have won there. And yeah, that's almost enough just on its own. Good game. I, I will forfeit now. I don't think I can beat Roaring Moon. Although... No, because they have just Grassy Glide and whatever hit from Roaring Moon. Yeah, I'm out of here. Great game. Great game. Yeah, they just stack dark types. That's how you handle Calyrex. <laughs> they also had a good lead there. Good game. Okay, we've got... Oh! Kanto starters plus Terrapagos? Sick. 
They've also got Urshifu and Dragonite. That's a sick team. Okay, Terrapagos is actually a good answer to Calyrex, because it's immune to Ghost. The rest of those look very expanding forcible. The only one I'd be scared of is if that's a Dark Urshifu, which it probably is on this team. Though, I mean, it's a Blastoise Venusaur Charizard team. I don't really know what their thought process is overall. Uh, but Calyrex indeed he seems so solid. Is there anything more solid than that? Uh, maybe Bundle. Honestly, because Bundle's faster than Calyrex, it could chip down the Terra Shell. But then I don't have Indeedee, so I don't have the Expanding Force anyway. Yeah, I need to get Expanding Force going right away. Shut down the Dragonite. Redirect any powerful hits they have turn one. Try not to Terra, because then Terrapagos will take advantage. Okidogi's great. Okidogi's Assault Vest, it can take on Terrapagos, it can heal up with Drain Punch. Terrapagos can't avoid being a normal type, so that's fantastic. I don't think I need Speed Control. It's either Bundle or Chiyu. I like Chiyu a little bit better. Bundle is kind of flimsy on the special side, so a Star Storm might just delete it at like neutral or plus one. Whereas Chiyu can actually hang on a little bit. And has Snarl. Snarl is great against Terrapagos. Ooh, no card. Boo! Alright, what do you got? Dragonite and Blastoise the Unrivaled. Okay, it's the Blastoise from the Rage. Cool. I like that you led Dragonite. You can't E-Speed now. Not that you could ever have Extreme Speeded into Calyrex. Uh, I don't know what to expect, honestly. Like, as much as I want a helping hand expanding force in this position, I think I'm gonna click follow me instead. Because I don't know what kind of crazy tech they're gonna pull out. I know none of those get wide guard, at least. Blastoise well, should get wide guard, though, that'd be cool. Okay, no Terras. Makes sense saving it for Terrapagos. I don't KO either. It's just Thunder Punch. Helping Hand would have KO'd both. And Iron Defense. Oh, we're good. We are so good. Yeah, that's fine by me. Iron Defense Blastoise is a cool. That's a really cool move. Uh, I'm going to Expanding Force again. And I'm going to bring in Chiyu. If you want to do a Defensive Terra or a Swap or something. You're going to have to take Chiyu boost to damage this time. And I'm just getting Ndidi out of the way. Ndidi isn't really doing much this turn. So next turn I'll have Chiyu and maybe a plus two Calyrex ready to go crazy on their back end. Yep, expanding force should be two KOs. Thank you for playing Dragonite, and thank you for playing Blastoise. Genuinely, Blastoise is cool. I wish I could have done something, but like, I'm using Calyrex this time. I probably won't use Calyrex Shadow very much, but you gotta use the good Pokemon to know what they're like and know how to beat them. I'm very glad that we got a loss already in today's video. Uh, Charizard and Venus- Where's Terrapagos? Okay! Delete, delete, and delete, delete. Goodbye, everybody. That's just, this is just gonna be the Calyrex Clicks Expanding Force game. Okay. You're gone, and you're gone. Goodbye. Uh. That was certainly a game. That was one of the games on today's video. Thank you, opponent for playing a game. I, I, I wish I could have seen Terrapagos. Terrapagos is so cool. Go get a trainer card and use Terrapagos next time. Alright, we got a match here against the Ice Rider Calyrex. Alright, Calyrex v Calyrex. I'm worried about Mind Shell, because it gets wide guard. I'm worried about Calyrex, of course, because Trick Room goes up, this team goes down. Alright. 
Their only Trick Room setters are Bronzong and Calyrex. Ooh, Torkoal's actually a big threat to this team, too. I need to have Chi Yu. It's the only thing that can really take a hit. I guess Okie Dogie might take one. Uh, Fluttermane is a thing, it's not that scary. Ogre Pond will help them get Trick Room very easily. They could lead Chen Pao. Not Chen Pao, Mine Shao. And just Wide Guard to set Trick Room. That would be annoying. What do I have for that? Oh, I have Chi Yu with. Oh, show me Overheat? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think it's Calyrex Chi Yu. Calyrex should be on the. But it doesn't really matter here. Um, Chi Yu should be on the left just in case Bronzong has imprisoned Dark Pulse or something. But that's never gonna happen. Uh, Chi Yu Calyrex. Rough. Um. I don't know, I need to pick quick. Okie dogie and Indeedy. Not much use for Tornadus because Tailwind isn't gonna be helpful in this match. And then it was just who who lasts. And I think Indeedy could be useful. Some redirecting would be nice. Except that we're just gonna get oh no, trainer card? Except we're just gonna get swept by Glacial Lance, which Iron Bundle can take a hit. From Glacial Lance. Mm. Yeah, it's the exact lead I expect. Right. Uh, I guess the unnerve does tell you the speeds when there's two Calyrex on the field. <laughs> yeah, we didn't bring Bundle even though it could take a nice move. Oh, boy. I think they want to go for Wide Guard more than they want to go for Fake Out. But... I want to Terra Ghost anyway. They could just also go for, like, a close combat and delete Chi Yu. So I'm going to Terra Ghost Chi Yu. And then if they Terra... Ah, maybe I should Dark Pulse. Terra Ghost Dark Pulse should take the KO, and then if they Terra, I can throw an Expanding Force single target. I really need Calyrex to go down here. <laughs> if I can take out Calyrex, I can win. If they get up Trick Room, it'll be rough. I'm gonna say it right now, it's gonna be really rough if I can't take this out right here. They are burning Terra, okay. I'm glad I went for Dark Pulse instead of Overheat. It's probably water. It's fire! Oh, I went for the right play. Okay. Uh, does Expanding Force and Dark Pulse take out? I mean, I have the beads, I have the specs. They went for Wide Guard, as expected. Okay, come on. Show me over a third. Oh, I think Dark Pulse might do it. Come on. Come on. No! Flinch! Flinch! We win! Oh. Whew. Okay, that's amazing. That is honestly so good. Uh, now I'm gonna Dark Pulse you, and I'm gonna Expanding Force on the Mind Shao. And the only way you get Trick Room up is Sash Mind Shao, knock off KO's Chi Yu. I don't think that's what it is. And battle was cancelled. Yep, they understood exactly what was happening. Good play, Chiyu. That flinch was huge. Good game. Alright, now we've got a match against... Uh, Galarian Moltres, who is a big problem for Calyrex. Huge special defense dark type, plus they're gonna be healing up. Yikes. And that healing goes before follow me, too, so I can't even redirect it. Triage is plus three, follow me is plus two. Uh, and they have Glastrier. I'm gonna pretend Glastrier is a Calyrex, and that, that that is a Regulation G team over there. Sableye for screens, Archaladon for... Oh, have I seen this team? I think I know this exact team. I think uh, Cybertron used this on his channel. Um, I don't remember the exact details, though, other than Glastrier is scary under screens. Uh, how do I get rid of screens? Uh, I don't really. 
can't really stop screens. Uh, Calyrex with like Terra Blast seems like a good lead. If I force the Moltres into a Terra, that'd be great. In that case, I'll just go Chiyu and just start blasting. If I can blast through some stuff, if I can take KOs quickly, we might be in a good position. Don't really need Tailwind. They don't really have any speed control unless the Comfey had Trick Room. Nah, I guess it could. Uh, just to take a Fiery Wrath, I'm gonna bring Okie Doki. It can take a Fiery Wrath pretty well. And then... Maybe I, I, I want Indeedee, yeah. Being able to pop off Expanding Force would be great. And I made it in just in time. Okay. Is the timer shorter in, in casual battles? Because that seemed quick. Oh, you got the... Okay, I like that Nurse Joy. The Nurse Joy in Kitakami. She's cool. Okay, uh, Sableye Ogre Pond. Didn't expect this, but I'm fine with it. I'm not super fine with it. I wanted to preserve Terra for the Calyrex. But now I kind of feel like using it on Chiyu. <laughs> Uh, Astral Barrage, and... Chiyu's not even particularly fast on this team. If I was max speed, I'd be like, Oh, maybe they're adamant, I can be faster. I'm gonna go for the Barrage. And I'm gonna bring in Indeedee. I bring in Ndidi, and then they can't do weird stuff like Quash, or Will-O-Wisp, or Fake Out. I don't know what they're going to do. And I think Astral Barrage will be decent damage, even without Chiyu on the field. Uh, they're going to just burn Terra, probably to get the special defense boost, I guess. Yeah, that plus Light Screen, you're going to take this Barrage really well. In fact, maybe you should go after Calyrex with this Cudgel. That could be trouble for me. Alright, it is light screen. Now, show me some good damage. Bah, 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 bah. That is none damage. And hit my Ndidi, please. Thank you. That I can do. And live. Well then. Uh, I might as well hit the Ogre Pond as hard as I can while I can. Which would be with Expanding Force. Expanding Force will do more than Astral Barrage. Uh, but Astral Barrage also chips down the Sableye, so that might be better. And I'll just go for a Follow Me. They could even protect Ogre Pond here. But they don't feel threatened, I guess. Uh, taunt you cannot do, because of the terrain. And more damage. Just spreading the damage. Sableye will go down next turn. Uh, and they just Horn Leech with their Ogre Pond. Okay. Uh, I bring in the Okie Dogie. Force them to reflect. Make them think that I'm gonna just attack and take out their Sableye, but I'm gonna intentionally not take out their Sableye. I'm gonna click Expanding Force, and I'm gonna click Drain Punch. Is that my strongest move? Uh, Poison Jab is stronger. Yeah, I'll go for Poison Jab. Yeah, you go ahead, set Reflect, that's fine. Now, you probably want Sableye to go down here. That's why I'm specifically using a Psychic move, so that it doesn't. And this actually does more to Ogre Pond. Ooh, great damage to Ogre Pond, actually. I should have been doing that the whole time. I think we live. Calyrex is just... This is a bulky Calyrex. Poison Jab, leave it low. Thank you. Perfect. They don't want me to take two KOs. They should probably protect Ogre Pond here. 
And then who can they bring in? Moltres? Yeah, I like protect my Calyrex and bring in Chiyu. This is, this is a weird play. This could be really risky. In fact, it's probably too risky and I shouldn't have gone for it. But if it pays off, it pays off huge. Because if they protect Ogre Pond here so that I can only get one KO instead of two, then next turn I'm in a position to actually take two KOs. Yes! Exactly what I wanted you to do. And Sableye, I don't even think you have anything you can use. Yeah, no, you only have priority moves. That's great. Now I can Barrage, take you both out. And if you want to swap in to take the Barrage, it'll be into probably Moltres, which isn't going to appreciate a Heat Wave. The one downside is I have to lock into a move, but I know every Pokemon you have. Heat Wave's fine. Your Terra is burnt. And I'm just going to save Terra so I can Terra Blast your Moltres, which I'm sure you have in the back. <laughs> and now he's going to be at plus two, because you're letting me take both KOs. Amazing. Goodbye, goodbye. That is a huge position to be in now. Double knockout for Calyrex. Yeah, that Sableye with no attacks was just completely useless. If you're going to use Sableye in this meta, I recommend giving it, like, Snarl or Foul Play. There's a lot of things you can actually hit. And I do think Sableye is pretty good. Sableye is pretty good in this meta, I think. You saw how many hits it could take from Calyrex. If it only had something to do about it, it might have been a problem. Glastrier, gladly clicked Heat Wave. And Comfey. Okay, how much terrain we got? Oh yeah, because we have Terrain Extender, so it was about to end, but it didn't. Oh, I really like that. Huh. Expanding Force. Destroy your horse. No, oh, no, they protect the horse. Whatever. You can't Priority Draining Kiss me this turn. So you're gonna try to set Trick Room. But I think plus two Expanding Force with Beads of Ruin active takes Pompeii. Let's be real. Yeah, goodbye. I'm a real Glastrier believer, but I don't believe Glastrier can win in this position. Glastrier is great. Like, back in Reg F or below, Glastrier is amazing. I think Ice Rider might be my favorite restricted. Because I just love Glastrier. But I'm just going to click these moves and you're going to forfeit. Oh, you didn't forfeit. Wow, let's see how much this does. Bop. Bye, horse! <laughs> yeah, uh, Calyrex is a little bit insane. Oh my goodness. Good game. Good game, I like that team. Alright, we're back. Woof! Calyrex does too much damage. Thank you so much again, the Darth Bear, for creating this team. It was a lot of fun. I'm really glad that I did get one loss. They stacked all the right things to handle Calyrex. And maybe if I had played a little better in that match, I could have come out ahead. But they made the right play. They didn't even bring Rayquaza. They understood the assignment, and they won. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. There's the team code for you up in the corner. Uh, if it changes, I'll make sure to put it in the description. And I'm Jordy. And, uh, alright. Peace.